Okay, all right. Okay, it's happening. It's happening. Wait! Oh my god, they get down on one knee? Oh my god. Wait, what is this? What is this? What is this? Wait, wow! Wait, no, 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 not that, not that, not that. And welcome back to another episode of Academic Adventures. Today we are setting things up for a possibly very dramatic prom. Um, and then we're also going to visit William afterwards. So here's the thing. We are starting school. It is a Wednesday. Prom is coming this Saturday. Normally in the US, proms are in springtime around like April or May. I had this conversation with my stream this past weekend. Some said they didn't have prom. Some said their prom was like a winter ball that was in the winter time. And then in America, we also have a homecoming. So there's a homecoming dance in honor of like the homecoming game, which you typically wear shorter dresses to instead of long dresses like you would for prom. We're just gonna say in this world, they've got a prom at the beginning of the year, which I don't think, you know, doesn't give you that much time to meet people and all that stuff. But we'll, what if they have a prom in the beginning of the year and maybe something towards the end of the year? We'll see. I'm not sure if we'll get to that in this series. I kind of want to end this all with a debutante ball. But this is us enjoying Cedric's teenage year, so we'll kind of see how it goes and decide later on. Um, but it is the start of the day. I added college to the household because I couldn't get him to be a student and any other way and I knew he had to be here so I've just kind of added him I think I can just uh, oh not kill no can I not remove you from the oh well this is awkward I you can't leave our home I thought I had a remove from household option apparently that's not the case so Colin just lives with us now I wanted him to be here because I think he's gonna ask Cedric to prom um first things first though Cedric you were like definitely supposed to be inside. Morning period doesn't end for another 50 minutes. On his wants, it's to plant a stink capsule in the locker. And I'm, I mean, I knew Cedric was gonna be a bit of a troublemaker and maybe he's causing some more havoc, you know. We, we know he's going through a, a lot right now. Okay, plant stink capsule. Hey, our cousin's boyfriend, you're saying hi to us, Lordy Taro. Um, He's probably going to bring Sissy to prom, but is he gonna witness this? Is he gonna tattle on him? Wait, this is such a test though. Can they tattle on the- Oh, there's- Oh, there will be exam prep session after school today. All students are free to join us. Ooh, okay. Will Cedric join? I guess we'll find out. All right, Cedric, I'm, I'm fulfilling his wand. He's planning a stink capsule, even though a bunch of people can see him, um, but he is about to go to class right now. We can see a bunch of students kind of like running around. Caspian's off to class. He's still doing his uni classes. Well, Cedric, are you gonna- uh, come on, you know, everyone else is in class right now. Oh, oh, live fast. Oh, he wants to pull a prank three times. Get in trouble. Oh, he doesn't want to do this. Sneak out to a party. Oh my gosh, what? We have to do that. Okay, all right. Well, he's on his way to class right now. And you know... If Colin, we'll see how he asks him to prom, but I'm curious. I wanted to remove Colin from the household because I wanted to ask him and then I wanted to see if Cedric said yes, but then I think that we would decide the answer to that already. Ooh, Cedric, okay, class is happening right now. There's a lot of sounds. <laughs> class is happening right now. Um, Cedric has acquired the photography skill and the acting skill and the painting skill. Did he learn all of this in one? Okay, apparently because Colin got all of that too. All right. So I'll fast forward through class and then during lunch, I will have Colin ask Cedric to the prom. Okay, the bell has rung. I have lunch ends in three hours? What kind of school gives you three hours for lunch? Has it always been like that? And I just didn't realize that's insane. Okay, Colin is feeling flirty. Dreamy eyes from crushing on someone nearby. Feeling great, uh, decently decorated. Miss hanging out from not socializing with friends and curious about clubs from not being at club gathering. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, you, you're not our normal person to control. So are, are they still learning? Are they hanging out in here? Or are you gonna go to lunch? Cedric, people peeling away from feeling hurt by someone nearby. Wait, 
Is that Colin? Is he still feeling hurt? We mentioned this in the last episode. We're just so confused what Colin's motive is. So I guess we'll find out. He seems to like genuinely have a crush on Cedric. And I mean, okay, to be fair, he's a teenager and teenagers do really stupid things. And maybe he is just has no idea how to handle the crush and wanted to break Sterling and Cedric up. So then like went for Sterling instead of Cedric. I don't know, man. Okay, so they are getting their lunch now. Cedric has decided to sit here with Itaro and Bahir. Bahir is our jock. He actually has a little bit of a history with Chelsea while Cedric wasn't here. They were kind of like in an on again, off again situation. Tally, why aren't, wait, 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 wait. Why don't you go sit next to Tally? Or Tally, why don't you come sit here? Why? She looks so irritated. Okay, Colin is sitting near Cedric and we're gonna have him ask Cedric to pro Ooh, apologize. Whoa, what? Oh my gosh, okay. But we're gonna have him ask him to, he's taking a selfie first. He's like getting ready to ask the crush to prom. All right. Present promposal sign. Let's see. I'm assuming, are we go, wait, 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 wait. Am I gonna get to choose? Is Cedric going to say yes? Okay, all right, okay, it's happening, it's happening. Wait, oh my God, they get down on one knee? Wait, is he about to say yes? I think he's about to say yes. Okay, oh, oh, did he say yes? Wait, did he say yes? Oh my God, yeah! I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't 100% sure if that was going to be a yes or not, but it seems like it is. So what are y'all's relationship like? Oh my gosh, their relationship isn't even that high, honestly. Wait, what happened? Wasn't the friendship higher in the last? Also, hello, Tally does not like it. Wait, wait, oh my gosh. Oh, wait, if... T wait, t t was Tally just here? And he pro he promposed to Cedric and Tally. Oh no, Tally's right here. Oh my God, I thought she left. I thought she saw that and left. Okay, if Tally doesn't like Colin, I feel like, yo, she's tense, but it's from feeling uncreative. I kind of like to assume that she's tense because Cedric is going to prom with Colin and she's like, are you serious? Like, you know what? he did to you, do you do you not remember? Like, trying to be in more of a protective way. I don't know if she's necessarily going to say all that much about it. Like, she's, she seems to be kind of standing off to the side right now. Cassidy seems to be cheering him on though. Okay, so Colin and Cedric are now going to prom together. I re oh my gosh, oh. <laughs> okay, all right, she seemed to like it. I was like, ah! <laughs> Okay, apparently Colin feels hurt by, feels wronged by Cedric? From what, was that there last time? We know the crush has been there. Wait, but Cedric has a personal rift with Colin. There's no crush, there's no nothing. Like he said yes, even though he's got a personal rift with Colin. I'm honestly so curious what is going to happen here. Oh my God, there's still a romantic, Hold on, there's still a romantic relationship with Cedric, not Cedric, Sterling and Colin. There's no sentiments, but it's a romantic interest and amazing compatibility. So that's still lingering, I guess? Okay, they're all back in class now. We're gonna fast forward through this and then we're gonna do some other socialization and see who else is going to ask who to prom after class ends. Okay, y'all, I was just about to show you the relationship and the tea with Chelsea and Bahir. And then I got, wowie, this sim is irresistible. Bahir has a major crush on Penny. So Chelsea and Bahir are exes. They dated while Cedric was out of school. So they dated and they broke up over the summer and now school has started back again. And so they're on weird terms, but apparently Bahir now has a crush on Chelsea's right hand girl, Penny. Flirty, swooning over having a crush. Oh my God, but someone called him an angry, an angry, I never heard know how to pronounce that. A sitch, a, a B word that rhymes with a sitch. Bad joke. <laughs> it was probably from Tiffany. <laughs> okay, I feel like the, the one who called him a a smidge, a simbitch was Chelsea to Bahir. And then I don't know if y'all just saw that Penny has the like no for Bahir. And I feel like it's because she doesn't want to get involved with him because he is her BFF's ex. Oh my, wait, hold on. Wait, just the side of Bahir. Wait, what? Okay, Penny has a crush on Bahir, but is also furious with him. Like she likes him, but she doesn't want to admit it. Oh. 
my god, the tea! The tea! Wait, but what happens if Fahir asks Penny to prom? Will she say yes? Ask to prom. Wait, are you asking in a group conversation? Is she going to say yes? Wait! I'd rather not go to prom together. I have other arrangements already. Okay, I feel like she's like, no, I can't. Like, oh my God, can you imagine if Chelsea found out? Like, no, that would not go over well. So she said no to be here, but I'm curious to see because they both have crushes on each other. I'm curious to see if there's any like palpable tension. Is that the right word? If there's any tension between the two of them at prom, he's already asked her. Oh my gosh, y'all. Cedric has a romantic relationship with, wait, romantic? interest it's too early to tell but there's definitely could be something there there's a, a little bit of romance going on with Davy and Cedric I literally looked away for one second they've got a higher friendship than Colin and Sterling oh my god Davy has a crush on Cedric <gasps> y'all do you think Davy would ask Cedric to prom oh my god or or would he know that he's already going wait oh oh they just did that without me doing anything they're for ah david oh they're good friends now wait what control sim pro claim locker prom leave a note asking to prom what if he asks Cedric like this what if Cedric just finds what if what if Cedric says yes then what do I do will he say yes if he's already got a prom date David just left a note asking Prince Cedric to prom hopefully they respond soon maybe Davy is I feel like Davy's a little bit more shy although he's feeling very confident right now but he gives me a little bit more shy vibes he's got this socially awkward trait so I feel like him asking Cedric in a no would make more sense okay okay yeah it says hey I got your note about prom thank you but no thanks and I'm afraid the answer is no I apparently I asked just twice okay I mean I guess that was expected but now we know that Davy's got a little bit of a crush on Cedric. Cedric's going to prom with Colin instead, though. And but here is exes with Chelsea, and Chelsea doesn't like him, and he doesn't like Chelsea right now. They're on not good terms, but apparently, but here and Penny, Chelsea's best friend, has crushes on each other. But Penny is like also not for it. Like she like doesn't want to have a crush on him. Clearly. Oh gosh. And oh, Davy, I'm sorry. That was awkward from having a. Crush. Oof, that was a pl unpleasant conversation. Davy's going to need some time to recover. Oh, Davy, it's okay. He seems so much sweeter than Colin. Oh my God. Okay, prom's gonna be interesting. We have Itaro. He's going to be bringing Sissy, and then we'll see who everyone else has as a date, or if they just go as friends. Um, we'll see that. And prom in the next episode, and I have a feeling prom's gonna be very, very messy. All right, let's go to another mess. We're gonna go visit William. All right, we're back in Brightchester. I feel like William is happy right now. I feel like he'd be a little tense though. And maybe him and JC, like he hasn't talked much to JC since the dinner with his family. So I'm going to have him travel. We're gonna meet JC at, I don't know. Well, I was gonna be like, oh, a bit more of a public place, but at the same time, I'm like, why? <laughs> but let's go to the library. Um, let's go with JC be like, listen, we need to talk. So, a lot of people in the comments said in the last episode, JC's gotta go. Like, we respect, you know, not wanting kids, but it's the whole, the fact that he hates children and gets happy from being mean to them. And also, some people said that that might go away. You know, they've got this thing that comes up, I think that came with, what is the shoot? What is the pack called? The, not generations, but the equivalent of generations. But basically that it might change. That's always a possibility. But I feel like someone who hates children that much, I feel like that's not very likely. If it was with the relationship pregnancy overhaul, where it just said he didn't want kids right now, I'd be like, okay, like, you know, maybe that'll change. But the fact that he hates children so much, I just can't see that changing. A lot of people said that JC's just kind of got to go. They were arguing about, oh, why is Pro Propose one of them. It's been a couple days. He's cooled off, I think, since they were arguing in the last episode. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Cool it off, you two. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Stop it! No! Stop feeling flirty! <laughs> All right, okay, all right, they're, they're gonna argue. They're gonna argue because we we need to, you know, just have William talk about this and be like, 
Listen, what the conversation we were having in the last episode at, at dinner at my family, clearly we don't agree on this. And that's just another thing. Kids aren't something that you should compromise on necessarily. I'm just wondering if we should just do the ask to be friends or if we should do the breakup. I feel like ask to be friends. I think this is going to be a bit more of a mutual breakup because JC doesn't want kids either and he's realizing this isn't going to work. So ask to just be friends. Like, listen, we, we don't agree on this and you know, they're still pretty young, but this is something William I think like definitely wants. Like he, he's a family man. Like we said, he knows he wants kids in the future. This is something that he doesn't think he'll change his mind on. This is something JC definitely won't change his mind on. Okay, all right. I know y'all are arguing, but I asked you to say just be friends. I think it's funny. It still says it's an armorous exchange. Should we go inside or like, well, I don't know. Maybe this is something you take outside. Should we just, you know, sit and chat here? All right, we're inside. Oh, JC like refused to sit next to Willie. <laughs> Deep thoughts, ask to just be friends. Why does it still say it's a suggestive conversation? Just be like, Okay, this, I, I don't think this is something that's going to work out. Y'all were, I, with like a few exceptions, just pointing out that it might change. Most people were pretty on board with this not working out. Okay, so, oh my God, look at him, look at him. Look, did you guys see that? He had his arms crossed. Oh, wait, William is angry now? No one's in there, oh, it's from arguing. Okay, but it says that they have decided to cool off their romantic relationship. Oh, interesting, the the romance is negative. Is that always a thing if they say, I, I, I mean, I guess they were like choosing to still be friends, but they both seem pretty pissed at each other. Oh gosh, they're still arguing. Okay, so they're not like enemies right away. Like, you know, nothing like super bad happened. This is just something they know they both don't agree on. Everyone was also saying, and I feel bad too, just like poor William. Out of everyone, he has had the most trouble with romance. Oh God, pristine reputation. Oh, okay. After that, interesting. Oh, now it's an offensive conversation. Maybe we should stop. Maybe we should leave. Now now things aren't going that well. Maybe we should go. Oh, well, it looks like JC left anyway. <laughs> JC was like, I've had enough of this. I am, um, I guess we're leaving. Okay, well, I guess that didn't work. I honestly was expecting to see some college students just kind of like doing stuff. Although there's Kanda. Oh my God, I forgot Kanda was sad in the last episode. Why, why? Loss in the family from losing a parent? What? Oh my God, y'all, Kenda's mom died. Wh her dad already died. What the heck? Like it was a little bit longer ago, but oh my God, deceased by anger, death, death by anger too. Oh my God. Wait, William, why did you come over here? Wait, wait, Kenda, where are you going? Oh, you're gonna go talk to William. Um, hey. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize they were that close. I mean, they've got a little bit of a friendship. Well, this is awkward. William just got done with a breakup. Kanda's mother just died. William's aunt died a while ago, which I'm sure Kanda heard about too. Console about death. I need to change Kanda's voice. I don't think it quite matches. I, I ha kind of like have the volume. I don't know how much of it you guys can see, but like, oh my God. Wait, what is this? What is this? What is this? Wait, wow. Wait, no, 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 not that, not that, not that. Neighbor, friends, good compatibility. Friends in a time of loss. Lord William has formed a bond with Lady Kanda, the kind that can only come from a profound grief or death. Oh, grief of death. Wait, is that because like his aunt had, I mean, it's been a, a several months now, but is it because of that? Wait, is it, how recent is this? Like, does Alice May know? I'm pretty sure they're still friends. Where are you going? Very sad. Give yourself a pep talk. Wait, does Alice May know? To be honest, she wasn't like super close to her mom. She's not that close to her sister. I don't I don't actually think her and her sister get along very well. Oh my god, I forgot she slept with someone. She hooked up with someone in an episode and then he died. Okay, her and Alice May are like, pretty close. I wonder, maybe Alice may heard about this. Maybe she tries to find a time to visit both William and Kanda. So maybe she tries, can we like plan a stay over? Let's see, what is today? Thursday, so Friday. Maybe Alice May has some time to visit. Add stay over, um, Alice May. Is there anyone else? Do the friends wanna come? Maybe? I don't, I, mm, because I want Alice 
almost made it be there for Kanda too. Let's do like two. I don't. I, I honestly don't even think she could stay for that long. Um, let's do one night for starters, and then maybe the rest can come over. Okay, so Alice. My, okay, so she's coming Friday through Saturday. So in the next episode, we'll have a stay. Maybe I will invite the other friends too. I just wanted Alice May to be there for Kanda, so maybe she's there for the a day, and then the friends come to visit another day. Yeah, let's do that. So like Alice May comes to visit, so she can like kind of be there for Canada too and William and then me and then uh, Frederick and all of them will come another day. I might as well just invite all of them. Molly Grace is still at school. I don't think she's going to be able to come, but Jessica for sure. Jessica, Frederick, and Nani. Okay, yeah, Jessica, Frederick, and Nani. Let's keep it small for now. So Caspian, I don't know if it's gonna go this, well, this is hard. <laughs> Let's, wait, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Should Malia and Caspian? Whatever, I'm just gonna invite Malia and Caspian. Okay, yeah, all right. Well, we're gonna leave it here. Oh, hello, random woman. Uh, but but William needs to, oh, she's cheered up. That was fast. <laughs> Having a pleasant conversation. Action, still controls him. All right, William is just going to go home now. And I think we will go ahead and end this episode here. Okay, so let me know your predictions for Cedric's prom. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see what goes on with the stay over. We'll get to see all the friends again, the group, they'll all be here except for Molly Grace and Graham because Molly Grace is at dance school so I don't think she would quite have the time but we will see them all again somewhat soon. Give this video a thumbs up if you have not already. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.